Hi there, let's paint another imaginary animal, this time a leopard moth. This image was painted as part of a series which started off with my tiger bee. The original series was painted many years ago and I wanted to redo it as my style had changed a bit. But the original image can be seen in the top left corner. While I'm painting an imaginary animal, I have a little fun fact for you. Leopard moths are actually real animals. Though they're moths with leopard colourings and spots. Not at all like the creature I'm painting here, which is more of a leopard with moth wings and it's quite tiny. As always, I'm using different layers for different colours. And I'm magically painting within the base shape of my leopard moth because I'm using clipping masks, not magic. When you set a layer to clipping mask, it will only display the content painted within the shape of the layer below. Any strokes painted outside the shape are hidden, unless you remove the clipping mask, which will reveal everything. It's a really useful tool for adding shadows and highlights within the shape, but also for colouring line art. I accidentally painted my leopard moth a bit too small, so I had to make him bigger. When using pixel based apps like Procreate or Photoshop, the elements you transform and rotate often become a bit blurry. This is especially visible with the brushes I use, therefore to keep the spots as sharp as I wanted, my best option was to simply repaint them. A lot of time was spent on the background of my previous image, the tiger bee, and I wanted this series to have more in common than the animal mashup theme, so I chose to make the backgrounds similar as well. With that in mind, I simply copied the layers from the previous image. Though, when copying layers between files in Procreate, the transparency and blending mode settings are stripped, so the background looked a mess when it was initially copied. That said, I didn't want the backgrounds to be exact copies either, so I made amends here and there to make sure it looked different. Thank you so much for watching. More process videos are up on my YouTube channel. And for more of my work, check out my social media accounts.